Hey guys, welcome to SP.NET MVC5 part 7. I'm Ripon Dutta. Today I'm going to discuss about view back and view data. So, first of all, view back. View back is a dynamic property that takes advantage of the new dynamic features in C Sharp 4.0. Basically, it is a wrapper around the view data and also used to pass data from controller to corresponding view. Its life also lies only during the current request. That means if redirection occurs, then its value becomes null. It doesn't require typecasting for getting data. Now, let's go to the view data. View data is a dictionary object that is derived from view data dictionary class. View data is used to pass data from controller to corresponding view, like view back. Its life lies only during the current request. If redirection occurs, then its value becomes null. And it's required typecasting for complex data type and check for null values to avoid error. Now let's get started with Visual Studio. So first of all I want to take a project and I want to give the project name project name view back and view data. Okay. MBC Alright, so a project is created. First of all, I want to take a new controller. Let's say home controller. Oops, this is already been there. So you can take, I mean, you can take another, like, let's say test controller. So Alright, now you can see um, in the index action we can write view back dot let's say title. So um test pace. So in the corresponding view we can use that. Um, add let's say empty then add alright so in the index space here we have already view back dot title equal index so we can even change it let's say this is message so index space I want to show that message and you know this is a rezo syntax you have to use add sign so one of the main advantage of rezo syntax is you can use uh, HTML tag and C sharp code at the same time so now I want to run the project yep you can see test base so that means we are able to pass data from controller to view using view back so view back dot um that's a name in this case I want to pass my name so let's say is three 
name at viewback dot name so you can see HTML and C sharp or razor syntax this is the main benefit of using razor syntax you can add these together so run the project or start without debugging yes now you can see this is our name which is sent from controller viewback dot name okay now I am going to show you how to use um, view data so let's take another action public action result let's set test view so first of all I want to create that view test empty then add right so what I want to do is instead of using view back I want to use now view data so let's say test page and view data Oops. name equal all right so what we need to do is we need to run the project I'm gonna use taste controller taste action oops <laughs> you can see we don't have any value because I didn't use view data here anymore so let's say name view data it was name and I want to show the message alright so debug start without debugging yes you can see name and test page now I want to show you how to send a complex data so you know to send a complex data uh, if you want to use class you can use let's say I want to use employee class so in the employee class we have some property let's say ID string name salary all right so a test controller mm okay so in this case I want to use employee um, EMP or you can equal new employee so you have to resolve the issue right click resolve using model so the employee dot ID equal let's say one employee dot name ripon the employee dot salary equal all right so what we have to do is in the test view first you have to take the model which is view back this is, a, this is the your project models then employee 
right then we need to create an instance so let's say EMP or employee equal view data so we have to send the data through view data so all right now you can take this data as employee right click or you can click that yes All right okay now we can use this data so let's say first of all employee dot id then second para employee dot name employee dot salary here we go now run the project so the test action or test view yes you can see ID name and salary so we can send data I mean we can send complex data through view data all right but you need to cast this data before you use that data as you can see all right so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial um, if you like this tutorial don't forget to subscribe this channel if you have any comment or if you have any difficulty please write in the comment box I will be try to reply you as soon as possible and see you soon in the next tutorial till then bye